What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. This is Samuel underscore traveler and you can see I'm wearing my brand today. So right here I'm in Machakos County. County zero number 18. That is 16. Gov oh, 16 governed by Wavinya Ndeti. And as you can see from my background here, I'm standing uh, at the shores of Maruba Dam. The, this dam is the one that uh, gives Machakos County uh, water in supply. So, and Machakos County is known for so many things that we are going to explore. That is maybe like Machakos People, People's Park and also is surrounded by many hills. So if you don't know anything about Machakos County, you better stick around and I'm going to give you an exclusive, exquisite uh, tour of Machakos County. Make sure to subscribe, like, share and comment. And also make sure to book with me. Make sure to book with me to give you uh, trips around Kenya. So we're going to walk around uh, these um, Machakos County and also go to the city and give you some amazing amazing uh, Views of Machakos County and here with me. I have my guide. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, this is uh introduce yourself come to the side so that people can see you Yeah, uh-huh uh, introduce us. I'm Joseph Kyoko Macau. Mm -hmm. I'm a writer and I'm you um, uh, A residence of Machakos. Yes, this is the place where I'm born mm -hmm. and also I would like to say that Machakos town is a very, very come and enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, come for leisures uh -huh. and many more. Uh -huh. so Do you want to tell people more about uh, the surrounding hills and also maybe a little bit of uh, Machakos County for those who don't know about Machakos County? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. One, mm -hmm. the neighboring uh, mountain mm -hmm. in Machakos town, the, it, it is known as Kimakimwe Hill. Mm -hmm. Kimakimwe Hill, mm -hmm. which is uh, just adjacent to Iveti Hills, mm -hmm. which goes around Machakos town, uh -huh. surrounding Iveti the Hills, town, yes. uh -huh. uh, up to from uh, a place known as Kaseve uh -huh. to a place known as Junction Makutano. Junction Makutano. That is the junction from Nairobi, mm -hmm. Mombasa Road. Wow. Yes. So another thing, how many counties border Machakos County, maybe from the east, west, north and south? Do you happen to have a clue? Okay. Mm -hmm. From uh, let's start from haste. Uh -huh. Where the sun rises from. Uh -huh. We have Kituita County. Kitui. Uh -huh. Yeah. Which is a neighbor to Machakos County. Uh -huh. And from uh, is it uh, southeast? Southeast. That is Macha uh, Makueni, Makueni County. Makueni. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, from Makueni, we go up to. Uh, south uh, northwest mm -hmm. where we get uh, Kajado Kajado County Kajado yes, County yes. Mm -hmm. from Kajado County we go to north north where we get Nairobi County is it I think Nairobi is on the western I think Nairobi and Kiambu are on the western side with the western side of uh, Machakos County I guess so I guess no it's north I think it's the north and northern area northern area yeah okay so guys if you know which uh, side borders uh, machakos county on the western side because it's ki kind of becoming a debate so make sure to comment down on the comment section uh -huh. Uh -huh. what else do you want me people to know about machakos county yeah the other thing i would like to tell my people mm -hmm. is that machakos town uh, machakos county is a very fertile place where you can also get fruits, uh -huh. many, many varieties of pl plants. Yeah, for my Kamba people, you know how we love uh, mangoes. Yes. A lot of mangoes come from this area. And when we, we uh, there is this mango season, we always tell our Kamba people, I want mangoes, I want mangoes. So guys, we want to walk around and show you a lot that uh, comes with machacos county mm -hmm. yes as we move on mm -hmm. the machakos county also it gives the best uh, the best of the funny things mm -hmm. which are historic <laughs> oh wow yes which are historical that is like um 
we have the stones which are the big, huge stones uh -huh. which have footsteps. Wow, are they far from here? Uh, not far from here. Uh -huh. Also, mm -hmm. there is the place where the, source, uh, the force of gravity is. When you pour water down, it instead of instead of going down, uh -huh. It just climbs up. Guys, that is another natural wonders that is here in Machakos County. I hear a lot of, uh, is it called Kiamwilu Hill? Chamwilu Hill. Chamwilu Hill. Yeah, it has a mysterious and uh, scientific theory that maybe if we get a chance to visit there, we're going to give you uh, the little detail on what happens there. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Still, mm -hmm. we have the place mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, on our way to Kaviani, a uh, market known as Kaviani. Mm -hmm. There is a very, uh, just a small distance mm -hmm. where there is a very tough, tough move, a tough. which is connected, like, is just like a force of gravity. Uh -huh. Yeah, and instead of going for uh, going in a the right smooth day. manner, uh -huh. it is a very hard place. Oh, you have and to very via complicating complicating area. Yeah, uh -huh. is that it? is a, it, it is just like a a sort of force of gravity, something of that. Wow, sort. guys, Oof. man, I didn't know more about. Uh, that complicated area, but I've heard about the Chamuilo uh, Chamuilo Hill. That uh, the force of gravity it goes against the actual science part of it. So, if we get chances to visit there, we're gonna have to go and uh, visit the place. Uh, I would lo love to ask uh, uh, this dam: How much? Where is the filtration of the water that give? that goes to the county and uh, where do they do the filtration of the water in simple terms the filtration of water mm -hmm. is done just here by the by the dam. by the dam then the, after filtration mm -hmm. the water is pumped mm -hmm. to the huge tanks uh -huh. which are constructed at um, Kimakimo area uh -huh. this is just uh, nearby okay or just it is just a neighboring to Machakos University. Machakos University, wow. Yeah. Right. Then from there, the water is supplied to the users. To the users. So, guys, let me show you. This is the dam. How large is this dam? Is it big? Is it deep? So, this is the dam that supplies water to Machakos County. This is how it looks like. And from afar, you can be able to see the hills that uh, surrounds Machakos County. And now we go and explore the other parts of Machakos County. And with me here, I had uh, I was accompanied by my big sister. Come and say hello, my big sister. My big sister. Hello. Hello. This is my big sister. <laughs> Hi guys. How are you doing? Yeah, this is Kobenata at uh, Samuel underscore Traveler. Mm -hmm. Guess we are having fun at this Machakos County. Yes. As you can see, we are now at this dam, a big dam. Yeah. So, guess we want to explore. So, make sure you watch the videos up to the end without skipping the hats. Yeah. Check out Kobenata also. Kobenata also. also. That's Kobenata. I'm going to leave down the comment section. And uh, guys... Let's move on to the next uh, place that we are supposed to see. And then we go. So guys, Machakos is a semi-arid area. And uh, that can be justified by the kinds of shrubs or some trees or some plantation that grows in this area. So here you can be able to see there are these are acacia trees these are acacia trees and by the look of things since it's not uh, rainy at this season you can be able to tell that uh, the place is so dry it's dry a little bit it's, it's dry even though we are so close to the dam a semi-arid area uh, tends to have the dry dryness uh, 
when there is no rain. But anyway, guys, we are here to explore Machakos County. Now we are heading out to explore another region. We're gonna show you the Machakos People Park, and this is what is known for more about Machakos County. And also, I heard there is a, a stadium around here. Uh, what is the name of the stadium? The name of the stadium? Uh, Machako Stadium. Uh, or is the Ma Machako Stadium that is owned by Sofa Parker, right? Just Kenyatta Stadium. Oh, Kenyatta. oh yeah, Kenyatta Stadium that is owned by Sofa Parker. So, for those guys who are fan of football, Kenyan football, whenever Sofa Parker is playing, that is their home ground so if we get time maybe we can be able to go and see the stadium and show you how it looks like but anyway guys this place looks nice looks beautiful is the fact that it's kind of dry so yes this is how it looks like oh you wanna oh yeah so you want to take us to the filtration area oh yeah so acacia trees so we want to go to the filtration chamber we show you how uh, the water is filtered from the dam up to the consumer's mouth. Yes. So let's go. Okay. So my guide is taking me to the filtration chamber. And I... Uh, I hope they are, do they do like uh, security and stuff? Are, are they going to let us uh, film about the filtration in the dam, yeah. for the dam? Uh, I'm not sure of the weather. Uh -huh. The security will be able to allow. To allow us? Yeah. It's okay, as long as we get to see how the process the is done. Uh -huh. It's very much for you. Oh, yes. So guys, Whenever you're in Machakos County uh, and you really want to, someone to show you around, I think I'm going to leave. What did you say your name is? My name is Joseph Kyokomaka. I'll give uh, Joseph's maybe contact whenever you want to visit Machakos County. This the, Joseph can take you around and show you what Machakos has to offer. Yeah. Wow. But where we have left the bike is safe. Yeah, it's very, it's very safe. Okay, yeah. we don't want to to have uh, someone messing uh, with messing with our uh, source, source of transport. <laughs> yes. But a lot of people don't do uh, like large um, farming. I mean, farming or uh, what do I call it? Pastoralism, maybe something of the sort. Because if it was in the Maasai land, all this place could be full of cows, goats, and Maasai walking around with their cattles. No, for nowadays, mm -hmm. uh, as uh, life goes on, mm -hmm. things have uh, changed mm -hmm. very much. Okay. And today you can find someone has only two cows. Okay. If he, uh, he has a lot, uh -huh. only four. Only four? Yeah. So what is the, like, what is the, the main source of uh, income here when it comes maybe to farming, maybe agriculture, maybe livestock keeping, or maybe what is the source of income here? The only source of income is only by whatever you have, uh -huh. you can you just take it straight to the market, uh -huh. you sell it there, uh -huh. then you go back home with your money. With your money. So, most of the people who are living here are, let's say, are farmers. They are farmers. Oh, so, agriculture is like the main source of income. Agriculture, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So, do you mind telling me some of the, like, some of the, um, uh, what do I call it? Some of the crops that are grown in this region. Uh, some of the crops that are grown around here mm -hmm. is uh, things like passion fruits, uh -huh. mangoes, mangoes, yes, popos, popos, okay, sugar cane, sugar cane, yeah, okay, and uh, this uh, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes, yes, yeah, and that's uh, this green, 
bogus that is skuma wiki the skuma wiki the kills yeah. okay and also there is these are uh, what do we call it they call it them mzo yeah the cowpies because yeah. when i hear about the cowpies on zo i associate them with the this region yeah. the machacos and whatever so guys we are still walking to the filtration chamber we want to show you how it looks like yes. and maybe you can be able to know how many uh, metric tons of water that is being filtered and processed in this place how are we going turning this or this way okay wow and it's very hot man it's very 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 hot oh there is a squirrel yeah there's some squirrels that are walking around in this this is very far guys you cannot be able to see it but with my eyes i can be able to see it so so you can even be able to find like wild animals in this area maybe at night or maybe are just more small and those uh, hyenas they are they hyenas from the neighboring parts of kajado we have we have a park in kajado county right yeah okay but they don't do a lot of they don't terrorize you a lot here no they don't okay I think in storage, Sasa. Sasa is here. So this is storage. This is storage. I love that this one is the clean water. Oh! Ni mchanga gani? Ni mchanga gani wameka hapa chini? Ile the soft one. Ah. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here is the ballast. The ballast. Here is the ballast. So you are maybe in a, na chukua the nini? The soil. Na nini uko? Machakos. Okay. Sorry. So guys, we are in the filtration chamber and this is how the water is filtered at this area. So this is any treatment. This is another treatment. Oh, the, when you want to find your water, water. Eh, to is So, uh -huh. chlorine. 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 Yeah, I know chlorine. Yeah. chlorine uh -huh. What do you This one. This one. This one. And this one down here. 
Chlorine. Chlorine. So, and then Sasa, this is the last place where they, after they do the chlorination. This is the whole chemistry. guys uh, this is the place where by the Machakos County so this is water to the residents that live here so yes and we were able to get some water to make sure the water is nice and well treated that's how it, the place looks like yes that is the water from the dam from the dam and then now this is the final product actually i have drank it you can show me drinking the water it's it's already treated so this is whereby machakos people get their water from yes so guys uh the other side was very noisy you cannot hear what we were saying so I have seen and I've been told that uh, this plant it's able to purify 5 million uh, metric, metric tons of water per day that means or per week how many liters are those that means people are able to get water are able to do their day-to-day -day lives with the water that is being uh, filtrated here from Maruba Dam and uh, I'm seeing there is a new compartment that is being built and uh, the the person who is uh, with us here is telling me that this place is uh, being built by the Chinese yeah so this is a new compartment that is happening here and uh, yes I hope maybe after they add this compartment maybe they can double the chlorination or purification of water maybe to 10 million so yes uh, this is how it looks like some stairs and uh, these are compartment that uh, the storage and compartment that water will be held as it's going to be filtered you see this is how it looks like yo man these are the things that we want to see in our country we don't want to see some things that don't make no sense yeah so how um, after the the finishing of these uh, nini, uh, new projects, how how many liters of water do you think they're going to start? Nini? So okay, so the person is telling me that they, he's not sure, but me, I'm thinking maybe they're going to double it. So I think they're still constructing a new place, a new space. Yeah. So we are still in Machakos County and we are exploring Machakos County. We are yet to see the bigger picture, but yo, what I'm seeing right now, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. So let's continue. We are off to the main road, 
headed to a new space but this is how the dam looks like from here at least i've had the privilege to visit the only source of water in machatos county yes yeah, and guys at least we have to appreciate the fact that they have very nice roads the main roads are okay but the the reserve in the roads that are in Tibia are kind of messed up but maybe soon or later they are going to make the roads look nice and the feeder roads and they did. yes Services and Disaster Management Headquarters. I think that is like a fire station. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. Mazimamoto. We call it Mazimamoto. 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 The fire extinguishers. The fire fire station. And guys, I think we are headed to Machakos People's Park. We want to show you this, the biggest recreational park in Machakos. And uh, Machakos is well known for this park. Yes. So, Kimakimwa Hill. Machakos is uh, surrounded by hills from all corners. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Machakos People's Park. Yes. We want to go around People's Park, show them how it looks like, and then we move. Yeah, I don't know if it's free or it's free. Okay. So guys, we just got an in Machakos People's Park and uh, we want to show you some activities that you can be able to see here or some attractions that you can be able to see here. So just at the entrance there is a fountain over here and uh, yeah, fountain just to welcome you and show you uh, what it entails. So some activities, some vendors around here. Let me show you what it, it entails. So this is the tree of Ringia. The tree was planted by President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Uh -huh. So this tree was planted by Muigai Kenyatta to commemorate or to do his own things here. So I wanna walk around, show you how the place looks like. And uh, make sure to visit this place and get to see how the place looks like so some i'm good doing good yeah hey, what's up i'm doing good i'm uh, just doing my my travels the travels yeah you into travel and tourism yeah yeah i'm into travel and tourism uh, are you based here yes i'm based here what do you want to tell people about this people's park uh people's park uh, comes this side because uh, of the uh -huh. Mm, yeah, like uh, that. That's right. uh, mm -hmm. People's Park is, in, is a tourist attraction in Machakos County. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, it is one of the best mm -hmm. places to visit when you come to Machakos County. Wow, nice. Uh, my name is Sherlock Miyuki. Uh -huh. I am a photographer. Uh -huh. so you can see, this is my this is station. Your station, yeah. station. Uh -huh. So, welcome people to visit Machakos County. Wow. Uh, I think, yeah, two days ago, mm -hmm. we have had the Magical Kenya Tourism Expo. I don't know if you were yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You know that? No, no, I didn't visit. I had uh, other things, yeah. Yeah, through our able governor, Mohamed Abu Nyan Deti, uh -huh. we were able to showcase the various destinations uh -huh. to visit when you come to Machakos, Machakos County. County. Yeah. Uh, what is one unique thing mm -hmm. 
that people would want to know about this park? One uh, specific unique thing. One specific unique thing. Uh -huh. uh, it is only mm -hmm. this park uh -huh. where we have zip lining. Zip lining. Yes. In the entire Machakos County. Yeah. Zip lining over a water body. Damn, that looks that looks entertaining. That looks amazing. So yes. I don't know if I can be how much do they charge for the uh, for the zip lining? Five hundred shillings. Uh-huh. Yeah. Per head. Yeah, per head. It doesn't matter if you're an adult or you're a kid. Uh, a kid, okay. Sometimes it can be negotiable mm -hmm. for children. No, it will depend on the age. It will depend on the age. Because you have different brackets. Eh? Yeah. You can have zero to eight. You can have eight to around fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the only park that people can come and chill in the entire Machakos County. No, no, no. We have another garden mm -hmm. uh, around uh, the, 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 the CBD mm -hmm. called Mulu Mutisia Gardens. Mulu Mutisia. Yeah, Mulu Mutisia Gardens. Mm -hmm. An exquisite place to come and chill. Wow. For so, weekends and maybe the leisure time. Okay. So what are other activities that you can be able to do here in Machakos People's Park? In Machakos People's Park, mm -hmm. uh, we have the planning. Uh -huh. We have a bouncing castle for kids. For the kids, yes. Uh, we have a... We have a maze, we have a maze. Huh? You have a maze? Yeah, there is a maze. Uh -huh. So, very, very much enjoyable. Uh -huh. We as well have the, what is it called? The merry-go-round. Merry-go-round. That uses the arts and the visual uh -huh. course uh -huh. to rotate people around. To rotate people around. Yeah. Wow. So, it's amazing to be here today. Mm -hmm. I've ne Actually, I've never been here. Uh -huh. So, I decided, let me book my ticket and go all the way to Machakos and show people what Machakos has. Yeah. Many people maybe have not explored Machakos. Uh -huh. So it is up to me to go around and show people how it looks like. I really appreciate uh, you for making, uh, taking that one minute and telling more about people's park. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Uh, I urge you people to support Sam. Yeah, Sam. And his brand explode Sam. Yes. I am as well into travel and tourism. Okay. I am champion you are aware of sustainable tourism mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, where well, we should be able to utilize the current resources the current resources to travel, to travel yes. without compromising the needs of the future of the future yes yeah. so that is my name is Sharaf Muyoke that is Muyoke and uh, it's amazing to tap into his way of thinking of things he seems to be a very uh, knowledgeable person about people's park and more about tourism yeah so also you can do maybe horse riding when you're here yeah so let me just walk around and maybe i'll pass by and maybe before i leave maybe i can have a tete a tete maybe okay so see you around all right so this is a so oh this looks nice i think that's why he has decided to to put this uh, wherever to make it look a little bit nicer and uh, what does a vine on? Love us corner! Love us corner! So there is a place where it's written Love us corner so I guess that's where if you are wooing a woman or you are having a woman of your dreams or the guy of your dreams you can have a sit there and have one on one tete a tete and get to know whatever you guys are talking about so let me go down show you how this place looks like yo i've never been here so i'm also trying to explore and uh, get to see how it looks like yo man this place looks such a place to be you know such a place to visit when you want to unwind and get to see uh that what machakos comes with yeah so i think there is i think that is the dam where we were down i guess so i want to go down there and get to see how it looks like yo i guess now nah, one thing is that i think they have not maintained this place up to standard so that maybe there were some nice maintenance but maybe they're still working on that yes So guys, eh, uh, I I think I was told or I have seen that Machakos People's Park has been nicknamed the place to be. And I want to show you Machakos People's Park, the place to be. Yeah, Whenever you are in Machakos and you really want to unwind from the hassles and buzzles 
of your daily life you can come to Machakos People's Park do quad bikings uh, bring your kids over here for bouncing castles a maze as I told you some uh, zip lining all the way to the other side they have a zip lining around here you can be able to see someone here is being prepared to go for all, uh, for um, zip lining so let me show something else they also do biking around here they do some biking yeah Whew, man i didn't plan to do any activity because uh yeah someone else is waiting for us on the other side who is going to be you know uh, driving us around can be able to see people are just doing the biking maybe that is a husband and a and a wife they have decided to do biking yeah so let's walk around you told me there is a maze Tempo run. This is a bouncing castle. What's up? I, when was it? I think last year. Last year? Maybe I can't remember, it's been a minute. Okay. <laughs> Guys, people are still remembering me. But anyway, that's what's up. So, at least every time I come and promote the local business when I have planned to do some activities. Yeah, so some kids here. That comes with the history part of it. There was two brothers, as I was telling you before those guys interrupted me. There were two brothers who were trying to woo a woman and uh, later they were spending the woman was spending uh, a night at each uh, brother's house and then later they decided to get a kid and uh, there was some uh, confrontation and one decided to settle on the other side of the mountain and the other one decided to settle on the other side of the mountain uh, that so the regions over here they decided to give this place uh, the, it was Kialo and Muilo so they decided to call it Chamuilo, but our guide maybe is going to tell us more about uh, maybe give us a little banter and tell us more about this place. <laughs> 